All right, folks, well, listen, we've come to that part of the show for News Roundup. Now, look, there's a lot of other things going on in the world of movie news right now. We don't have time to go into them in detail, but we want to make sure you are kept up to date on what's happening. So this little segment is the News Roundup. It's being reported that actor slash comedian Adam Sandler is close to joining the film The Cobbler, being directed by the station agent director Todd McCarthy. Sandler is said to be taking the lead role of the film, who has the ability to metaphysically step into the lives of the people whose shoes he repairs. No word yet on a release date. Guy Ritchie's new film, The Man from Uncle, is already shooting in London, and our first look at Henry Cavill in the film has just hit the web. Cavill was most recently on the big screen as Superman in Man of Steel. Set against the backdrop of the early 1960s, at the height of the Cold War, The Man from Uncle centers on CIA agent Solo and KGB agent Kriekin, I never pronounced that right, <laughs> forced to put aside long-standing hostilities. The two team up on a joint mission to stop a mysterious international criminal organization which is bent on destabilizing the fragile balance of power throughout the prolifer pro proliferation of, the nuclear, of nuclear weapons and technology. The duo's only lead is the daughter of a vanished German scientist who is the key to infiltrating the criminal organization, and they must race against time to find him and prevent a worldwide catastrophe. It's being reported that a deal is close to being struck to develop a biopic on the life of Tupac Shakur, simply to be titled Tupac. Tupac centers on the life of the charismatic yet controversial artist, rapper, poet, actor, and political activist Tupac, who shot to fame with Tupacalypse Now, praised for its seminal underground vibe and still an inspiration for major artists today. The new Marvel film Thor The Dark World opens at AMC theaters everywhere on November 8th and now Marvel Studios have released two new character posters from the film centered on Lady Sif and Jane. Thor The Dark World continues the big screen adventures of Thor the mighty Avenger as he battles to save Earth and all the nine realms from a shadowy enemy that predates the universe itself. In the aftermath of Marvel's Thor and Marvel's The Avengers, Thor fights to restore order across the cosmos, but an ancient race led by the vengeful Malekith returns to plunge the universe back into darkness. Are you one of those people who are really looking forward to the new RoboCop remake, but you just wish you could see him on an even bigger screen? Yes! <laughs> well then, I've got some good news for you. <laughs> Yesterday, IMAX, along with MGM and Sony Pictures, announced that RoboCop will be digitally remastered into the IMAX format and released into IMAX theaters worldwide beginning February 7th. No official word yet on how long the IMAX run will be, but we'll let you know as soon as details emerge. Now, not only is she one of the best actresses in the world, but now she's going to be probably one of the best directors in the world too. It's being reported that Academy Award winning actress Kate Blanchett is about to helm her first feature film with The Diner or The Dinner or whatever. It's a summer evening in Amsterdam and two couples meet at a fashionable restaurant for dinner. Between mouthfuls of food and over the polite scrapings of cutlery, the conversation remains a gentle hum of polite disclosures or of polite discourse. The banality of work, the triviality of the holidays, but behind the empty words, terrible things need to be said. And with every forced smile and every new course, the knives are being sharpened. Each couple has a 15 year old son. The two boys are united by their accountability for a single horrific act, an act that is triggered that is triggered by a police investigation and shattered the comfortable, insulated worlds of their families. As the dinner reaches its culinary climax, the conversation finally touches on their children. As civility and friendship disintegrate, each couple show just how far they are prepared to go to protect those they love. No word yet on the dinner or when it will hit AMC. Wow, that sounds incredibly exciting. It's being reported that New Line is about to appoint Ted Melfi as both the writer and director of their upcoming remake of the 1979 film, Going in Style. The original movie starred George Burns, Art Carney, and Lee Strasberg as a trio of senior citizens who decide to rob a bank and take their winnings to Las Vegas. Kristen Chenoweth has just joined the cast of the upcoming film, The Boy Next Door, and will star as the best friend of the lead character played by Jennifer Lopez. The Boy Next Door stars Lopez as a recently separated mother who finds trouble on the horizon when she begins a sexual relationship with a teenage neighbor. And that will do it for your news roundup. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk.
Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.